Howdy, boys and girls, and welcome to another thrilling episode of Shock and Auto Reviews. Two idiots, sometimes three, sometimes none. A camera, a toy, and a review. That's right. Today, we're starring Mr. Berg and Toast. And what are we reviewing? We're reviewing uh, 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 a Toast Wilson special by the Berg. This is Mezco's Rumble Society Doc Nocturnal Crazy Deluxe Swag Set Something. Ah, uh, and we don't care about boxes, but... It's a pretty nice box. It is a nice box that uh, got some gold foil and there's a cool skull logo. Uh, and this is also an Aw Shucks episode because I've never opened this. I literally just opened it seconds ago oh shucks so that opens up real nice there's some really cool doc nocturnal artwork there's some black stuff and here he is doc nocturnal yeah i can't see him either so for those of you who don't know uh mezco has their own uh what would you call it? Subsection? You mean Rumble Society? Rumble Society, yeah. Their own little... It's small but growing. ...thing of unrelated to or toys that are, are their own just from Mezco, as far as I know. Yes. I put absolutely zero effort into it. Their own creations. Ah! Uh oh I saw this guy go up for sale and went, that guy looks amazing I want it and uh, then I went no that guy's super expensive comes with a bunch of stuff I don't want so I didn't order it and then I came into some money thanks to Shapeways and I said screw it I'm ordering him and uh, magically enough he was sold out uh, so I went on their waiting list and shockingly they sent me one anyway. That's awesome. So uh, here he is. He is crazy pulp styled, skull headed, awesome looking dude. So one of the things that we already unpacked and we might get to later is the comic that I think has his backstory. Yes. But as of now, we have no idea what that is. Nope. Are you going to read it? I'm totally going to read okay. it. And then I'm going to go, gosh, I hope I don't really enjoy the rest of the Rumble Society guys. I like them and want to try and buy a series of hundred plus dollar figures that are exclusive and hard to get. So we start at the head and he's got a delightful skeleton head sculpt. It's got all kinds of cranial imperfections and stuff. Really nice sculpt and paint. Yeah, I, I, I like it. He's got a... I don't know what type of material this is, but it's textured on this side. It is a different, I don't know, some type of cape hood uh, that looks actually pretty decent in this scale. It really does. Um, I really like the texture. I don't know how well that's coming up. Yeah, there you go. Uh, then he's got this cool spiderweb pattern on his chest, which is another leather pleather bit. Cool little skull guy that's done awesome. He's got all, some stitching on his gloves that is cool. He's got a uh, crazy red Batman belt with paint on all the buckles and that's painted, that clip's painted, that clip's painted, this circle thing is painted, the little screws on that part are painted. The web pattern is uh, on his gun again and the web somehow I don't know how they did it is glossy and the inside black is flat just yeah and it's got a little symbol there cool 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 he's got cool Han Solo stripes down his leg more stitching on the boots that are weathered and look j like if he was just plastic and look like that 
I'd be fine, but got a nice dark wash over him to pick out all the cool details. Uh, he's even got skulls on his feet, Bruce Wayne. Oh, very nice. Uh, and on his left hand, he has his watch wrist communicator, which... Let's see if we can... Uh, has some kind of display on there, some buttons. Got a cool little skull thing. He even has stitching on his gloves. I think he looks awesome. Uh, and then he has a black spando spandex undersuit. The cape has wire in it. So you or has two wires, one on each side. So you can get a kind of cool poses. Much like every Mezco 112 he is crazy detailed, super well painted. Uh, if you like the fabric, you like the fabric. If you don't, you don't. Yeah, and his mouth opens. Which all leads us to articulation. And then he's got a ball jointed head. He's got swivel shoulders. He's got swivel biceps. Double jointed elbows. Ball peg wrists. Uh, he's got a torso joint and a waist joint, which is a little bit restricted by his torso or by his tunic. He's got ball jointed hips. He's got swivel thighs, double jointed knees, and because it's cloth, they don't look like shit. He does not have a boot swivel. And then he has ball peg boots, which don't quite get enough range. You have a number of Mezco toys already. This yeah. is my first. Cool. Is this standard Mezco articulation? This is standard Mezco articulation. Every Mezco guy I have has the same articulation scheme. The range, of course. Is Sometimes limited by the fabric. Limited by the fabric. All right. Now, as with all Mezco 112 guys, he comes with a boatload of accessories but since he is this swag set or whatever they call it he comes with a ridiculous amount of extra extra stuff so first of all as with all I think every Mezco toy and uh, they come with one of their mezzets I don't care first cool thing he comes with he comes with Doc Nocturnal a trading card pack with uh, exclusive sticker included one dollar super cool i'll probably never open this to see what's on the inside because it'll never close again if you're even supposed to open it i don't know there's some cool card art again showing how awesome he looks i'm feeling very nostalgic looking at that <clears throat> he comes with a t-shirt um with some cool art of doc nocturnal and some of the uh rumble society guys and some bug looking dudes uh of course they don't come with real people sizes shirts so the biggest that i could get was an extra large and i'll just give that to my son or my daughter and then one of the reasons that really kind of drew me in is that he comes with bigger than normal comic size slightly smaller than a magazine doc nocturnal black and white crazy awesome looking comic book there's more pages in there than I expected uh, yeah. it's with art by Michael Oppenheimer who I've never heard of Yannick Bouchard who I've never heard of Jeff Zarno I've actually heard of um, doesn't say who it's written by oh Mez Markowitz cool and then, as with all 112 guys, he comes with a stand. This has the nice box art, very uh, retro pop artish. Yeah. He comes with my favorite accessory, Wilson, a bag to hold all the junk. And oh my God, does he come with junk? Right. A gas mask that has clear. Lenses. Lenses. Uh, this is our, some kind of crazy wire 
that you can move and do stuff. The leather straps are brown, the buckles are silver, silver gold. Looks crazy awesome. And this thing doesn't fit on this head, but does fit on this cool crazy black head, which also has an opening jaw. Uh, it's a totally different sculpt, so you get two skulls. This one is glow in the dark. So you could have a glow in the dark skull, and then this slides on that. And then that comes off, so you <clears throat> have to put this head on for him to use this. So that's cool. And then he also comes with steampunk retro airplane goggles he comes with w starting with two fists and then he has two pointing fingers two open a gun hand an open hand to hold the barrel of the gun a trigger figure thumbs up hand, t two fists for little tiny things, and two splayed hands. So he comes with a ton of hands, his awesome blaster skull gun, which again has crazy awesome detail. The spiderweb pattern is in the handle again. Skull thing, there's multiple silvers, grays, gun metals on both sides. I love the commitment to the skull and webbing theme. Yeah. It's on everything. And then if you saw, paid attention, he got shooting a Tommy gun. So he comes with a Tommy gun and you're going, Rick, where are the, where, where's the, the ammo well you go tell us what the hell is this thing he goes did he come with a tommy gun oh yeah comes with two of these which is the i don't know the parts of a tommy gun do you no pew 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 pew, pew. and again this gun is got brown where there's brown wood silver gun metal all kinds of great little details on here there's a spring he's got a second trigger hand barrels done nicely uh, it's even got a, I don't know if we can get a shot of that, probably not. There you go. It's even got a hole in the barrel, which a lot of toys don't bother to do. Wow. But they did. What's that? More weapons? Yes, more weapons, please. So, he also comes with this other cool tray of fun stuff. So, he comes with Doc Nocturnal, the flamethrower. Uh, so again, he's got this super crazy retro style tank with backpack that uh, has webbing to go around for the um, straps, little clips, again, skull pattern. And I'm going to point out that I just kind of figured out that that's like a spider skull. Is it? I oh, that, that makes sense. It does. It goes with the pattern. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, every little nut and bolt is painted out or picked out with paint. There's some more down there. It's X13. It's got your danger symbol, so make sure to sh point it away. Uh, and then... Here is our cool retro style flamethrower. And Wilson's favorite thing, it comes with whatever the hell it's shooting. And of course, it's warped out of the box, but we can fix that with a little hot water or hair dryer. Uh, but it plugs in, and this also glows in the dark. Oh, nice. This is a death ray chemical blast I just read. And then he comes with. Uh, grappling extension that is not fired 
And then he comes with a grappling extension that uh, has super fragile wire. There you go. I thought they'd just be string. No, I would. I'm I'm afraid that it's gonna break, so I'll probably never actually use it. <laughs> um. Then he comes with bullet effects. There you go. So bullet effects from your time again or bullet effects for your hand blaster and then he comes with a single bullet effect and these are done they're a little bent but then it's gas powered would be my guess they're clear yellow plastic with a wash where it's dark here and clear here and then there's a silver bullet awesome and then he comes with four grenades and he comes with if you want to have a different pouch with his compass on it that is why this pouch moves because you can pop it off and switch on your compass pouch on his belt. So that is everything he comes with. His cape is removable so he can just have a hood if you'd rather go the Incredibles way of never wear a cape. I won't ever do that. But it's a thing you can do. Yeah. And if there was any doubt in a 112 figure that means it's six inch scale. So he fits in with Marvel Legends and G.I. Joe guys. Time for uh, the bottom line, final thoughts. And just to prove that it can be done, we got the blaster into his holster. Oh yeah, awesome. I'm going five hammers on this guy. Um, I, I, saw, I saw when he was originally solicited and I thought he looked cool, but um, I, I I have no Mezcos, and um, I wasn't about to start with a, a random guy. Sure. But uh, he is extremely impressive uh, with the amount of accessories, the attention to detail in the paint, the fabric, um, the posability. Like, everything is what I want. Um, can I ask how much this guy cost? So, he costs $112 is his retail cost. But then there's shipping and tax on top of that. So sure. Yeah. He, he goes 135, 136 was what he cost ship, what shipped out. What is, is, is there a standard Mezco figure price? Uh, most, as far as I can tell, the base guys usually go for 90 to to $100 or less, depending upon where you go. So for not that much more, you get a ton of stuff. Yes. Uh, this is... The swag set, right, which comes with all this extra crap. Crap. So you get a twenty dollar t shirt, or fifteen dollar t shirt, a ten dollar comic magazine, a th four dollar pack of cards. Yeah. Plus a regular Mezco guy. Extremely impressive. Five hammers. Yeah. This is mine, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna give him also five hammers, and I'm gonna say it right now. He's probably going to be toy of the year when I go back and review what toys I got this year because uh, while he is super expensive that is uh, that you, if you're buying a 112 guy you know that going in that he's super expensive I love him I love the design of him I love what little I know of the character he is such a nostalgic like he hits the shadow buttons, he hits the spider buttons, he hits Batman buttons, he hits Racer X from Speed Racer buttons, just all that crazy anime 1960s crap that I watched on Channel 44. He comes with a thousand accessories. He has 11 pairs of hands. He has two heads, gas mask, you name it, he's got it. I love the Gatling gun. I love his crazy skeleton gun. I love his flame blast backpack I love it I love that there's a comic book it's awesome I 
if I find out that the other guys in Rumble Society come with the comics, I'm doomed. <laughs> if I had any drawback is that, as with almost most Mezco guys with uh, sculpted boots, I want more range on the ankle tilt, especially. All degrees. He's got predator ankles. Mm. Well, I mean, we haven't had any trouble standing him we, during this. We have not. But all the rest of him is super articulated. He's great. The the soft goods are some of the best looking soft goods I've seen. Period. Like the cape. I don't know if the camera does the cape justice. It just looks fucking great. And yeah, he fits it like he looks better than a Marvel legend. He, like he can't go on that shelf because he looks so much better than they do. And I just the the, the fabric is part of why I have avoided Mezco um, because I just don't think fabric looks good at this scale. But this guy is fantastic from head to toe. Yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, ten hammers. Yep. Uh, candidate for toy of the year. I love this guy. I recommend him. Uh, too bad you can't get him because uh, he's an exclusive. Uh, you can join their waiting list. Uh, I'm still on the waiting list for their Punisher classic version from like four years ago. I just found out. Wow. Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Uh, tell your friends, family, please. If you have any questions for us, sh let us know. If you hate us, let us know. Thumbs up. That'd be great. Until next time. Shadow Cops.